colorful and provocative. Street art is everywhere in London's East End. Charles Edwards goes by the name Pure Evil. He's among the best-known street artists in the area. Many of his works disappear nearly as quickly as they were made. For him, this is the place to be. London, and especially the East End, is a fascinating place for art and for people who want to come and see art. I think it's always changing. I think there's always new art going up over other artworks. You know, in this area, you can't throw a stone without hitting a curator or a stylist or a DJ or a street artist or a musician. And these are the things that make it such an exciting area to be in. Street art has turned into a tourist attraction. Visitors can see the most popular paintings on walking tours of the district. One big draw are works by Banksy, which fetch more than a million euros at auction. Ben Eames graffiti art is another eye catcher. U.S. President Barack Obama even possesses one of his creations. Today, street art has become a hot collector's item. The Black Rat Gallery specializes exclusively in street art much of it with price tags over 10,000 euros. This helps to sort of build up the interest in the area. People want to come to the area and see a new piece and they want to walk around for two hours and see the art that's going up. And it all adds to the general excitement about the area if there's new pieces going up and also if there's great galleries like this that are, you know, sort of in the area as well. The East End also offers a fascinating mix of cultures. On Brick Lane, small curry shops alternate with hole-in-the-wall galleries. Over the years, the area has attracted various ethnic groups. They now live alongside the artists. Mainstream art also has found a home in the East End. The White Cube Gallery is among the most important venues for contemporary art in Britain. Currently, an exhibition by Anthony Gormley is on display. And there was a kind of cultural buzz underneath. And now, you come to this part of London, particularly on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, it is heaving. Bars, the clubs, I mean, there really is a kind of cultural momentum. And we were very keen to, um, we have been very keen to play a part in that. The East End is it. And street artists like Charles Edwards have also benefited from its transformation. He opened his own gallery five years ago. Today, an authentic, pure evil sells for over a thousand euros. We've totally stolen from pop art. We've totally stolen the idea of the factory. We've totally stolen the idea of appropriation. We've totally stolen, you know, ideas of screen printing and stenciling and mass production. And, you know, this is the kind of, this is the next stage of, you know, of pop art. It's just street art meets pop art. Without a doubt, the East End is trendy and the art scene is thriving. Pure Evil's latest work about the Summer Olympic Games in London now stands at the headquarters of an international human rights organization.